Hey guys, my name is Stephanie Fair and I'm the tech facilitator at David W. Butler High School. This quick tech talk is how to set up GradeSync in Canvas for 2023. So this year, GradeSync slightly changed from years past, which is confusing teachers. So in the past, we would go to the assignments page in Canvas for each and every class, and then we'd come over to the top three dot menu and then we'd hit sync to SIS. However, this year it has changed a little bit. Instead of syncing to SIS and it importing the categories for PowerSchool, we are going to now have to match the grade category groups to syncing to SIS to make it match. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So if I actually click grade sync to SIS, you'll see that right now that the groups are not connected. It's going to have the names of the assignment groups that you have in your class. You would actually click each one, and then you would click how, which one it'd be associated with. These are the ones on the right are the ones that are already in PowerSchool. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is either click the assignment group to change the name to it, click Edit, to change it from assignments or imported categories or whatever to the five categories, prepare, perform, rehearse, perform, midterm, and final. Okay and then sync them together, or you can add a group if you don't have enough and change it to each of these, okay? So you wanna first create the assignment groups so that you have enough assignment groups to match. I also suggest if you have empty ones, for example, this one right here where there's no assignments, go ahead and delete them off. There's no reason to have those. They get created every time. If you're importing assignments from a previous course in PowerSchool, then they'll probably come across already as prepare, rehearse, and perform from last year. So then you just need to sync them together. Once you have them synced together, then you'll click the three dot menu and click sync to SIS categories. You will then match the categories to the group. So here's my prepare now and my rehearse. So I just simply open it up and this class has two sections in PowerSchool, so I'll need to do it for each of the two sections. So I'll come down and find Prepare, and find Prepare. I'm not gonna do it for all this teacher's class, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like when it's completed. And rehearse, and rehearse. Oops. Okay, um, and then when you close these up and you hit sync categories and look again, what you're gonna see in grade sync, so we'll open it one more time, is you're gonna see that now they're green and they say they're synced together. Now you can do the grade pass back and you can drop assignments into these categories. So see these two are synchronized and these two are not still. So we need to finish that for them. If you have a class that you've already started and you've made the goof, okay, so for example, this class, this teacher has it where they have just assignments. So if I come into, if I know that these assignments are perform grades, then all I need to do is go back into Grade Sync SIS, come down, find my assignment categories, and change them to the correct groups. It also helps if when we go back and rename them too. So for my assignments, I'll click down. I made these all prepare. So what I want to do is I just want to come over here and hit Edit and switch this name from assignments to prepare. Okay, so I hope this helps. If you have any questions, see us in the library. Have a great day.